welcome again so in previous tutorial we have seen how to apply bootstrap design in CAC PHP pagination in this tutorial we will see recent post portion so for that I'm going in my blocks controller and home method so let's go in blocks controller and this is the home method and in, the, in here I will create a simple uh, query for get all article title and then I will put my articles title in here so in here I'm just going to take a permit take a variable first called article list then writing a simple query in catfish we call these articles find and then passing parameter called list so here for fetch all articles we have used this article find all and in this time we have just uh, changed it all to list so according to cacphp documentation for version cacphp 3 and 4 uh, we do not pass uh, all because all is actually default so if you just remove this it will work it will work perfectly but if you if we want to uh, send the query with list and then we have to send the list so there has a difference between all and list and all actually uh, send you all data and list only send your article or a key field uh, I'm just going uh, describe it a little bit uh, I will describe it, it uh, later so let's send uh, it to view so i'm just going to send this article list to my view so for that we can send it in here using uh, combine but i'm just uh, in for now i'm just using simple uh, set method again to send my article list so here i'm just typing article list and just copy and sending my variable call article list in here and after save if you save and reload our page then if you go in our debug kit and in sql log in this time you will see here that select article id and title from articles this query actually has built for this uh, this line and here you can see select article id title details that means all fields has been selected for this line so this is actually for all fields and this is only for two fields that will be id and title or id will name so you you have uh, a scope to change this um, field name for example this is actually called key field and this is actually called value field you have uh, access to change this uh, key field and value field i will see you later uh, let's see uh, first uh, how we can fetch our um, article article title in here so now i'm going in home.php and this is our list group that we are seeing in this left side so i'm going here and now i'm just giving a simple for each loop in here starting php lag php tag in the php tag and just writing for each loop and here my variable name that i have sent article list so article list as key value and i'm finishing my php tag in here and removing this line remove this code and here i'm finishing my php tag for each loop in here so i'm just writing in for each like this okay i'm just copy a line from here and paste it in here okay so now in here we have to uh, give the value so i'm just uh, copy this value in here and just change it to uh, php tag and call value 
also change the name. I'm just the article is article title like this and changing the value and also changing in here and save it if we go and reload our page we are seeing four we'll see more now we'll see all of our articles title from our database table i'm just removing this all now save now go and reload our page now we are seeing everything from database so now when we click in here it should be clickable it should be a link and when we click it should be go in a controller method then we can see our all uh, articles or article details in a page so for that i have to create this a link so for that in this uh, list we already has a uh, anchor tag and this anchor tag has a href and in here I'm just removing this and just printing like php tag and end of php tag and in here i'm just using this cat php url builder url helper class and using this build build method and here in array i'm sending a controller name for example my controller name will be uh, blocks And action will be view. And we have to send a pair, we have to send a ID or article title in here as a get method because we have to see uh, for this uh, according to this corresponding ID, we have to see our blog details. So I'm sending uh, now ID. So where we will get ID? This key actually our ID. So we have to just copy this and after here, I'm just giving a comma and just paste it. So now save, then go in browser, reload our page. So if you just click on here, you will see it will go in view and then ID one. So if you go in here, click on here, you will see view and this ID equal to four. So now if you go in here, you can see the view ID equal to six. So we have sent the title ID and to another method called view. So we have to create a view in here, which will which I will create in next tutorial. But let's see another thing. So here we are able to send the view in, 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 the, in the parameter. But if you think that uh, you will not send ID in parameter, but you will you will send article title in parameter then how you can do this so for that you have to go in your block controller and you have to just change your list in here you have to just give the comma in here and then you have to just uh, write that key field that means id you wanted to change one is called value field and another is called key field i'm just changing the key field so key field will be title so when you will mention that your key field also will be title then if you go in here then reload your page then if you click in here in this time you are seeing that it's sending you title so if you th think that okay i don't need key field here you can do you can just uh, put your this uh, article title in your uh, in your link same thing will happen but i've just uh, followed the cat php uh, key field how you can change actually the key field value in here so you also able to change the value field for example you don't want to see here the article title you just want to see want to see here uh, created field so you also can do this you can just need to change here for example value field value field you need to change the value field in here now you just changed your value field is created so this is just an example so now see oh.
so the spelling is mistake this that will be value so now remove reload my page again so you can see now it is actually changed and created your uh, created date now click on here you will see the same thing view and the article title has been set so this is actually your hand what uh, you want to change in here you can change the value field you can change the key field that's actually depend on you so i'm not going to change anything so another thing that i am going to do i'm just uh, uh, giving a limit in here i'm just uh, i want to see here uh, eight articles so I've just given here limit eight. Now go in here, reload our page. So go reload our page. So everything is uh, seeing fine. Now go in SQL log. You will see the limit has ex executed eight. So you will see in recent post here, actually eight data. So now I'm just removing also the uh, key to uh, Okay, sending the key that means ID I'm sending here. So after click, you will see view and one. So in next tutorial, we will view the article. So this tutorial actually on how you can change the list value and key field. And in several time you may will fail, you may need to change this uh, option in CAC PHP. And you already seen how we can create a uh, list with uh, href and send a simple id uh, as a, a query string so in next tutorial you'll see the view the post so welcome for the next thank you